A new report prepared for the White House Coronavirus Task Force has now surfaced recommending several states, including Florida, impose increased restrictions to contain the outbreak. The report made public by the Center for Public Integrity in Washington, D.C., was not released by the White House, but earlier versions, we understand, had been shared with state governors. CBS 12's Stephanie Valdrama has the details. The whole idea for having a White House Coronavirus Task Force is to collect data and make recommendations that best fight coronavirus, information that is then passed along to local leadership who craft policies to protect public health. But tonight, some are asking why the White House didn't make its latest report widely available. The biggest takeaway from the July 14th document made public by the Center for Public Integrity is the recommendation that hard hit Florida counties like Palm Beach should order significant rollbacks of reopening. According to the report, 22 counties and dozens of Florida cities are what they call red zones and should take the following actions right away. Make masks mandatory, close gyms and bars, limit restaurants to 25% capacity, mostly outdoors, limit social gatherings to 10 people or less, and expand testing and recruit more contact tracers. Congressman Deutsch believes the state needs to do more right now to stop the spread of the virus, even if it means going back into partial lockdown. None of us want to go through another shutdown, but here's the thing. The governor's unsafe and reckless rush to reopen may be the very thing that forces our state to shut down again. We want what is necessary to keep people safe from this virus and to save lives. CBS 12 News did reach out to the governor's office for comment. At this time, we have not heard back. The governor also didn't touch on the report during today's press conference. If you'd like to read the full report, visit our website, CBS12.com, and just click on this story on the homepage. Stephanie Valderrama, CBS 12 News.